When we look at APC, it's been around for decades. It's well proven, it's an excellent tool. It's an excellent tool at stabilizing the process and really getting guys consistent production. It'll then push, but it'll only push in one direction. He doesn't actually know what that true optimum point is. And that's where RTO really starts to come in. We can use non-linear methods, such as what we have in PetroSim, to understand what is that optimum point. And then we can drive those optimum points down to APC, so it's not just stabilizing, but it's actually pushing production at that optimum point and not beyond. A great example is an FCC. With an FCC, if you keep pushing in that, that one direction, yes, you'll probably pass the optimum point and get into over-cracking territory, which is actually a negative on margins. By having an RTO, you'll know exactly what the optimum point is. and It'll help you keep the production right on that financial and reliability optimum point. So if you look at the RTO, it's well proven in downstream refining. That's where it started, that's where it's been for decades. But in KBC, we see value in upstream as well. You know, when you look at the challenges upstream is trying to face, and the capabilities of the RTO technology we've developed, actually this is really blue ocean. There's so much value potential that can be captured by applying technology that's proven in refining to that upstream market. Whilst RTO has been around for decades, what we've observed from our analysis looking around the world with our various clients, we find consistent challenges. There's two key consistent challenges. One is capability of our people, and the second is robustness of the system. Nearly every RTO system in the market requires very, very specific niche skills. And those niche skills are highly sought after, and they're hard to retain those key people. What we've been able to do is use PetroSim capabilities that are widely known across the industry and our clients already have the skills and capabilities to maintain those PetroSim models to now use that for RTO as well. So gone are the days of needing those niche skills and now we're having those PetroSim engineers that are all around the world being able to apply RTO. When you look at the lack of engineers, it's hard to keep those models perfect. And when the models fail, the RTO stops. When the RTO stops, that profit you've been enjoying also goes away at the same time. So by using those common core of engineers that we have in PetroSim, we can make it more easy to maintain. We've also adjusted the architecture of the software. So the software is very graceful in how it can degrade. If your models do fail, actually we have some techniques to keep optimizing for some period of time. So the combination of those skills and the architecture, we're getting great robustness. The building blocks of RTO is really the foundation is the DCS. You know, having a good solid control system, sensing in place. This is foundational for everything. Yeah. On top of that, there's two key components. There's the APC controller, which is really about stability. And the second side is the data historian, which is collecting that process data, historizing that for us to use for analysis. So then when we come to add the RTO, we're deploying KBC PetroSim with its embedded RTO capabilities to leverage the data from the historian, analyze that for the optimum positions, and then really driving down those targets to the existing APC controllers that are in place. When we look at RTO, it's, it's AI, and how we start to blend in AI into the RTO solution. There's actually, there's two elements that are coming to my mind straight away. The first one, the KBC, is automated model maintenance. Now, I spoke about what we're already doing to lower the bar of maintenance. Well, by deploying AMM, that's then gonna automate that process even further. So there's even less requirement for your staff to be involved in actually maintaining those models. When we look at the, the analysis that we've done, in terms of ROI, we're looking in the range of 300 to 400% ROI. This is huge. So we're talking paybacks in the range of six months. Great, so in terms of reducing implementation time, again, PetroSim is used all around the world. It's essentially the de facto standard for refining simulation. So many of our clients already have great models. They're running them as digital twins, which are online models simulating the process in an automated manner. When you already have that infrastructure in place, the effort required to implement an RTO is so small. We're talking four months to go from zero to fully online RTO. That is huge. 
compared to a typical project that might be eight to 12 months, plus a lot of engineering, a lot of man hours to build these base systems. If you've got PetroSim, we're accelerating that process to around four to five months for a, a typical asset.